here I am at the post office, just about to drop off my sticker swaps. So, um, I look like a weirdo talking in the car. But basically, I wanted to talk about this two weeks ago, and then I was blubbering on about it. And then this, something that should have been a minute was like six minutes. Which, what I'm doing now, right? Basically, uh, I'm involved in a sticker swap on Instagram. Uh, I'll link all the details below. The lady is Molly from farm underscore sticker underscore swap. And basically, she sort of facilitates this connection of uh, other homesteaders. And basically, you get your logo and profile put up on the Farm Sticker Swap profile page. And then anyone that wants to share their details with you and swap stickers uh, gets in contact with you privately and does it. So um, I'm really excited. I've got about 20 of these to send out, which is, uh, which is a lot of fun. But I've just driven past the post office and there's a line out the door. So I might actually go and grab a coffee and then come back. So yeah, sending off the stickers today. Hurrah! Guess what exciting thing has just arrived? I've just had to move out because Serge is doing the um, <clears throat> pressure washing for to do the side render. But guess what just arrived? The shade club. So that means hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully today actually, because I, I think he's going to put the first coat of render on and it has to let it dry. So hopefully today we will actually start putting up the shade cloth which is fantastic because last night we had this random rain that wasn't forecast anywhere that I looked. And um, I really want to protect my little plant ears because they're, they're, they're really starting to flourish. And, um, you know, because our storms, you, like there's debris flying around, hail, all sorts of things. So I want to kind of protect them before the storm season kicks off. Let's go have a quick look at the garden though. I'll show you what's, what's happening. So have a look. Look at everything nice and big and green and growing. Look, these tomatoes, these were the ones that I had in that black tub. You know, the ones that I repotted the other week? And they are just looking fantastic. They just look amazing. Look at this capsicum tree on the other side, which I'll take you around there, giving beautiful flowers. Look at the little fruit that's coming up. Spring onion, trying to get a flower. More. There's sweet potatoes and... There we go. I don't know if you can see, I need to zoom in. The flowers on that beautiful capsicum have just totally kicked off since I transplanted it. I'm really, really pleased with it. And look here. Look, look, look. My first um, squash flower. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's squash. Look at them. Beautiful, nice and big. See, like some of these are a little bit like spindly and strong, but I know that they're going to get stronger like this one. Look at that. Beautiful. So, hey, be careful. Lots of things happening in the, with the garden. I'm really, really glad, even though it was super hot last week. Um, I think I actually mentioned it in the last video. It was actually the hottest day in this month in the last, I don't know, however many years. So long, long time. And it was awful. Like you, you, you'd have a drink of water and then you'd be like, oh, I'm dying because it was hot. Um... So it's not going to be that hot today. It's still going to hit around, I think, 26 or 28 degrees C. So it's still pleasant, but um, hopefully we can finish off and start putting the, the other stuff, the, the um, netting around and, um, you know, just tidy up the painting. Um, there's a couple of spots that need just a touch up and whatever. So hopefully we can get that done today. I'm so excited. I, it's, I can't even tell you, like, this project has been something I envisioned and ended up coming out exactly the way I envisioned it. So I'm really, really pleased. So yeah. So um, yeah, welcome back. And we've got a lot lined up in this episode. We're going to have uh, some, some more garden work done. So the, the netting finally arrived, which I've probably already mentioned before, but it's arrived. We're going to attach that. Um, we're also going on a bit of a road trip. So uh, you'll get to see some of Australia's beautiful beaches and, um, you know, just, just some of our beautiful landscapes. And I think we're just finishing the rendering project as well this week. So um, yeah, lots of work getting done, getting completed. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, hey girls, stop. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing this, this vlog with you and I hope you uh, enjoy it 
and um, yeah, stick around, see what we get up to. Misha. Misha. She hates the camera. It's something else she knows every time I turn the camera on. She knows. Mickey. Mix. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. This is what she, <laughs> this is what she does. She just rolls on her back. She's totally just very submissive and intelligent and clever and loving. Hey, 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 hey. This is my old lady who I love more than life itself. Yeah, Pilla. Yeah. Are you my booba? Are you my booba? Oi, what you doing? So, in last week's video, I completely forgot to record um, the bread loaf that I made. And the reason that's important, and I wanted to just bring it up again, is because I talked about this experiment that I was doing and then didn't carry on. So, basically, where's my pan? Hold on. This is my, I call it a Pullman pan, but it's not the brand name Pullman pan. I think in French it's called Pandemie. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's basically, looks like that, and has this lid. So the intention is when you bake your bread, um, this is a one kilo loaf of bread. Um, you do your first proof and punch through, shape it into the shape that you want, pop it in here, let it rise again. It rises up to the top and then bakes, and then when it bakes, it's a square shape, basically. So you don't get that that top. So I quite like it because it's, I find it's just a little bit easier by creating a more uniform shape. It's easier for sandwiches. So this is the bread I prepared last week. Beautiful and soft. This one's been in the freezer. I'm gonna use it to make French toast. So this is using the T45 flour, which I did not have a reaction to when I tried the bread last week. So. Taking a bit of a risk with it today because I do have a bit of a sinus headache. So I don't know if um, it's gonna trigger it or not. I suppose that's a perfect time to check. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna make some French toast with this. So the only reason, the only issue I have is when I made the bread, I um, left out the tiniest bit of water. Like I think it was a third of a cup. And normally I put a little bit of butter in my, like into the dough to mix into the dough to get a little bit of fat. And I didn't do that. So the loaf does have a bit of a crumbly texture, but you can see it's really soft. So that was my own issue um, that I messed up. So yeah, so for breakfast today, I'm going to make these French toast. I took them out of the freezer yesterday. And so they're a little bit drier as well. So perfect for French toast. And yeah, we'll see how they go. Alrighty, so now I'm just quickly, just quickly let Moosey out and I am going to do some chores because we're going away next week, just for a couple of days. We're going to our beach house because we are actually just about to put it up for sale. It's going to be hard, but it has to happen for the next phase, so the next things that we're planning. So today I am getting Moose's food ready because we don't know if we're going to stay for a couple of nights or not. And he's got um, heaps of hay anyway but he also gets fed hard feed in the morning at night. So I'm just gonna prepare that because um, a friend of ours is gonna come, you know, if we stay longer, he's gonna come and feed him in the morning at night on the next day. So he's just gonna go get his food ready, um, pick up the washing, you know, fill his water, all that kind of stuff, pick up poos, um, because the other thing is there's a storm coming on um, from Sunday through to Tuesday, which is when we're gonna be away potentially. So need to get all that stuff done and ready so that if we are away, uh, and the storm hits, there's not too much damage. So yeah, let's get onto it. Which one? You want apple or you want spinach? Hang on, one of each, huh? One apple, one spinach? Yum, yum. Of treats.
friends so i am just about to go and do the poo pickup for the morning and put moosey outside and i wanted to show you so our neighbors got in contact late last night to say that um there was an eastern brown snake seen hey darling uh going into one of the piles near the horse's yard so that's a bit concerning because eastern browns are incredibly venomous and the only consolation i have is that the horse does thump and rumble around when he runs up and down in his paddock so he's unlikely the snake is unlikely to come necessarily to the back part of the house doesn't mean it's not going to come to somewhere else so today we've got to be super vigilant and make sure we don't see it because if i see it i'm going to have a heart attack <laughs> so now i'm going to go and put him in the side paddock let the dogs out to run around while I do poo pick up and fill his water and do all that stuff. And um, then we're going to start packing for our trip away. This one keeps barking at the horse. There he is, minding his own business in his paddock. And this one is barking at him and I don't appreciate that. So, so, you have to stop being naughty. So, you see, working or having a homestead in Australia is... um. You know, you've got to be good with your time management <laughs> and you've also got to be ready to change things up. So, you know, the plan was the rendering um, last coat can be done on the sides and the um, septic tanks because the front's finished. That was supposed to kick off. We were supposed to put the netting up on the garden um, either today or, or sort of the next week. But now that we have a snake notification, it may change things up. We may have to prioritize things and potentially work on some other projects. Okay. Sometimes that happens where you, you do have a plan and, you, and you've got to change it. You can't do anything about it, but yeah, that's what it's like on, on a homestead. Anything can come up at any time. Any issue can come up. You know, we were going to stay, for example, at the homestead, uh, sorry, at the beach house for a few days before we um, put it up for sale. You know, it might be the last time we stay at that house and it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to cut that short because there's a big storm coming in on Tuesday and um, it's too dangerous, uh, like it's going to be a big one, to, to leave this place on its own. You know, we just you just work with what you got at the time. So, so yeah, so it's a bit of an adjustment, but, um, but we'll get through it. with the dogs on the beach yes okay that's good well i just wanted to say hello, hello. johnny watches our video so say hi to johnny at least hey johnny <laughs> <laughs> why are you being such a sook oh man we've been driving so long and i haven't had coffee and um 
We're nearly there. Coffee, nearly time for coffee. Nearly time for the beach. Next trivia questions coming up, I think. Um, next trivia question is, oh, <laughs> trivia games help you stay alert. Right, okay, what's the next question? Come on. Okay. Rockhampton is famous for. What's Rockhampton famous for? Bogans. No, <laughs> don't say that. What's Rockhampton famous for? <laughs> Bursting the game to your mind. Oh God. All right, let's wait for the next trivia question. Because God knows how far we have to go to see the next trivia question. Two kilometers. Is it two kilometers? No, it's kind of oh, oh, there we go, hold on. There's a winery over there. I can't turn. Beef cattle. Answer, beef cattle. Did you know that? I was close. Really? So a gypsy wagon filled with a few of our belongings and in the back, two furry puppies. And you. And three furry puppies. <laughs> you're, you're a furry puppy too. <laughs> Um, we're just going to stop quickly and there's a little picnic park here so we're just going to quickly stop, let the dogs out for a wee and carry on, we're not that far. We're not far off, I think we're, how, how far do you reckon, maybe an hour? No, 20 minutes. 20 minutes from where, Childers? No, or we're, we're just, just going in Childers So now. we're just going to Childers now, this is the country town that we have to turn into before we get um, onto Woodgate Road and Woodgate Road takes us directly to Woodgate Beach which is where we're going, which is where our house is. So um, more exciting footage coming up uh, from the uh, is, production studio here. <laughs> this is a big town too. This yeah, is Childers big. is a big town too. So um, I'll, I'll be taking some extra footage now, but just wanted to give some context of where we are because we've been driving for uh, three and a half hours, uh, three, three hours and 15 minutes, minutes roughly. Not is including it? a break for the dogs. Yeah, not including the break for the dogs. So. <laughs>
important amenities include real estate, post office, fish and chip shop, and the bowls club. Oh, and the pub. The pub. <laughs> and there's the beach. And that's where we'll be, where we'll be going today. Oh, whoops, zoom out. Look at it. Now this beach is 150 meters from our house. And it's always calm like this. It's always beautiful. Dun, 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 dun. I can't wait to see our house. Can you? I can't wait to go on the beach either, but I can't wait to see our house. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, that's, that's new. new extension. Well, they cleaned that house so up nice. Look, look, look. Something there that's sold. That's uh, potentially our new neighbor. Our house! We just arrived at our house. And um, so we have tenants in here and the tenants left on Thursday and the property was cleaned, I think, Friday. So we're just doing a quick inspection before we call the real estate to grab the keys. And then we're going to go to the beach. We have to wait for the inspection report to see if there was any exit um, things recorded on the exit report. So yeah, we're gonna do that and go to the beach and chill out a little bit. So I don't know if you can hear. I won't talk too loud, but um, you can hear the beach and the waves in the background. It's a house being built on the block opposite us. That used to be an empty block, but listen. This is one of the places that has boomed because of, um, you know, certain world events. Um, so we've got a, our house is like a double story. Um, it's got two bath, uh, two bathrooms, four bedrooms, um, a two car garage, two kitchens. Uh, what else has it got? Huge outdoor veranda and then underneath another living area and then heaps of space for a caravan. It's on a 1,060 square meter block. Hey. And it's 150 meters away from the beach. So it's fantastic. It's beautiful. the beach? Yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah, the other side might be I think so. Yeah. Alright, let's go. So, our trip hasn't uh, hasn't actually gone the best. Turns out our tenants um, kind of didn't look after the place and we won't be able to list the house as quickly as we wanted so um, that's a little bit of a shame. So now we're just working out next steps and we've got um, an agent actually up here with Surge to give us an appraisal um, but yeah may have to actually finish our holiday earlier because um, I have to take the dogs home and Surge might have to come back and um, do some work so 
Yeah, that'll be a shame. It, it only took us four and a half hours to get here this morning and will take us four and a half hours to get back. So it kind of seems like a bit of a waste of a day, but sometimes that kind of stuff happens. So we'll see. All right. So I suppose the good news is that Serge now had the meeting with the other real estate and um, he seems okay. I mean, you know, they're all kind of the same, right? Um, but he seems okay. He believes he can get the price that we want. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. We're still trying to work out, you know, how quick the, it's going to be put on the market because we were supposed to put it, you know, like we came up here just to do the inspection, collect the keys and, um, you know, like get it ready within the next two weeks. It was supposed to be up on the market. So now it might be a bit longer, but we'll see. So, so far, at least the meeting went well. That's one thing that went well today. Oh, and you know, playing in the beach, all that kind of stuff. So not a total loss, I suppose. So I do have to tell you a funny story. See that? They're the external stairs. And in there is some internal stairs. So for some reason, Misha can't go up the internal stairs, but she can go up the external stairs. Mickey <laughs> can't go up the external stairs, but she can go up the internal stairs. So when they both need to go up, you just hear doo -doo -doo -doo, and then doo -doo -doo -doo, from the other end. It's so funny. Somebody got bitten by an ant and now she's being a big sookie la la. I don't even know where it bit her, but look at her. She's like, me, the ant bit me, me. <laughs> my big sook, my big sooky girl. Aren't you a big sooky girl? Yeah. Mix. Mix. What are you sniffing for? What are you sniffing? Hello, hello. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Hi, baby. Hi. Are you still scared about the ant? Oh, huh? you still scared about the ant? The ant's gone. Come on. This is what she does. <laughs> you, how can you be so funny? How can you be so funny? Funny, 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 funny. Enough pets? More. How can you be so funny? How can you be so funny? Funny, 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 funny. More pets? <laughs> More? Or is that enough? <laughs> More? Buffed. <laughs> oh, you're a funny girl. You're a good girl. So, we are heading back, um, yeah, didn't go too well with the uh, former property manager now, um, she lied to her teeth. Our only saving grace is the fact that they did actually take photos, even though their reports were really shit, um, like the um, inspection reports were terrible, um, the photos actually back it up. So for example, they'd say, oh, you know, whatever, the, the toilet needed cleaning or something but it would be the opposite oh you're back in and so now we're heading home and um we're a little bit upset about it so probably gonna end the vlog here because um yeah we've got to work through some things but thank you for watching i know that normally i'm a lot happier than this but i'm a little bit uh, upset about today's occurrences and i'll see you next week